Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be discussing about the muscles of the tongue. The bulk of the tongue is composed of muscle and it is completely divided into left and right halves by a median sagittal septum which is composed of connective tissue. This means all the muscles of the tongue are paired and there are intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the tongue and all these muscles except palatoglossus which is innervated by the vagus knob. Okay, pharyngeal branch of the vagus knob supplies the palatoglossus and except these all muscles of the tongue are innervated by hypoglossal knob. Now let's see the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. Intrinsic muscles of the tongue are those muscles which change the shape of the tongue. Whereas extrinsic muscles change the position of the tongue. Intrinsic muscles are contained within the mass of the tongue whereas the extrinsic muscles this connect the tongue with the surrounding structures. Now what are the intrinsic muscles of the tongue? Let's see. Intrinsic muscles of the tongue are superior longitudinal, inferior longitudinal, vertical and transverse. And to memorize these uh, intrinsic and extrinsic muscles I have devised a short mnemonics. Okay. Uh, let's think like that. If there is no GPS in your motorcycle, we need extrinsic GPS, okay? So, uh, inferior TVS, high GPS. Inferior TVS gives the intrinsic muscles. In TVS bikes, there is no GPS system, so we need extrinsic GPS. Uh, that's why we consider TVS bikes as inferior. So, intrinsic muscles are inferior longitudinal, transverse, vertical and superior longitudinal. These are the intrinsic muscles, whereas the extrinsic, GPS and high, high GPS, hyoglossus, genioglossus, palatoglossus and styloglossus. Interestingly, GPS, the short form for a global positioning system, the positioning, it, uh, it, the, all the extrinsic muscles of the tongue are responsible for positioning of the tongue. So that will be quite easier for you to memorize. And then the functions. Okay, origin, insertion and innervation. I have already talked about the innervation. All the muscles of the tongue except the palatoglossus are innervated by hypoglossal knob. And the palatoglossus is innervated by vagus knob via the pharyngeal branch. Now let's talk about the intrinsic muscles. Superior longitudinal. It is originated at the submucosal connective tissue at the back of the tongue and from the median septum of the tongue and it is inserted into the mucosa on the margins of the tongue. The muscle fibers pass forward and obliquely to the submucosal connective tissue. And the function of superior longitudinal muscles is to shorten the tongue, cause the apex and sides of the tongue. Similarly, inferior longitudinal muscle. Inferior longitudinal muscle is seen between, found between genioglossus and hyoglossus muscles and it's originate root of the tongue and it inserts at the apex of the tongue. Its function is to shorten the tongue and uncall the apex and turn it downwards. Likewise, transverse muscle, its origin is at the median septum of the tongue and it goes to laterally into the submucosal connective tissue on the lateral margins of the tongue and it narrows and elongates the tongue. And the vertical muscles, which are the intrinsic muscles, these originate the submucosal connective tissue and the dorsum of the tongue and insert into the more ventral regions of the tongue. And it flattens and widens the tongue. These were the origin and insertion of the intrinsic muscles. Now let's go into extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Extrinsic muscles, we have the mnemonics, high TVS. Let's see, hyoglossus. It is originated at greater horn and adjacent part of the body of hyoid bone and it inserts into the lateral surface of the tongue. Now for simplicity, uh, let's uh, remember that all the extrinsic muscles of the tongue are inserted into the lateral surface of the tongue. How easy is that? Except genioglossus, all other extrinsic muscles are inserted into lateral surface of the tongue and genioglossus is inserted into body of hyoid. Okay body of hyoid and entire length of tongue. Genioglossus originates from superior mental spines. Okay. Genioglossus. Uh, 
from the inferior mental spines the genioid muscle originates and then let's see styloglossus styloglossus it originates from the stylo process and inserts into the lateral surface similarly palatoglossus it in it originates from inferior surface of the palatine aponeurosis and it is inserted into the lateral margin of the tongue and the function of a genioglossus muscle is to protrude the tongue depress the center of the tongue whereas the styloglossus is antagonistic to genioglossus it elevates and retracts the tongue similarly the function of hyoglossus is to depress the tongue and function of palatoglossus is to depress the palate move the palatoglossus palatoglossal fold towards the midline and it elevates the back of the tongue the function of palatoglossus is to depress the palate and elevate the tongue uh, this was our short description on the muscles of the tongue hope the mnemonics will help you remember and the picture and description will make it uh, easier for you to understand and memorize thanks for watching have a nice time